Welcome to Hoops Roundup with your host, Randy Silver. We're going to be breaking down the FIBA World Cup daily. We have your day one recap. We're going to go through all the games, highlights, and preview USA's game, which is tomorrow. Let's dive into it for you. Here are the first games. Italy beat Angola 81-67. Australia beat Finland 98-72. Montenegro beat Mexico 91-71. Lebanon beat Latvia. Excuse me. Latvia beat Lebanon. 109 to 70. Dominican Republic beat Philippines in the Philippines. We're going to dive in this game deeper 87 81. Germany beat Japan 81 63. Egypt lost to Lithuania 67 93. And Canada destroyed France 95 65. We're going to dive into that game too. This was day one. Your day two is tomorrow, South Sudan and Puerto Rico. That was day one. Here's your day two. South Sudan versus Puerto Rico. Cape Verde versus Georgia. Jordan versus Greece. Iran versus Brazil. Slovenia versus Venezuela. Serbia, China. The big one for us Americans. USA, New Zealand. And then ending the day with Spain, Cote d'Ivory. And then from here, you'll move to match day two where you play your second group games. What are the groups? So let's show you. Here they are. Italy, the Dominican Republic. Group A winning, Group B has not played yet, Group C has not played yet. Lithuania and Montenegro leading Group D. Group E, Australia and Germany leading the group. Group F has not played yet, Group G has not played yet. And Group H, Latvia and Canada leading the group. Top two teams from each group move on to the second round of the tournament. Let's go over some of the rosters. I want to show you who are the NBA players playing the rosters. These are obviously the people you're going to know. From Group A, the big players are Carl Anthony Towns from Minnesota. Their big man is playing for the Dominican Republic. For the Philippines, Jordan Clarkson from the Utah Jazz is playing for the Philippines. He's playing and he loves representing the Philippines. Carl Anthony loves representing the Dominican Republic. Great to see these players going back to their roots where their family's from to play for them. In Group B, the big players here, you would recognize Bogan Bogdanovich for the Hawks, Nikola Jokic for the Heat. And then, unfortunately, Puerto Rico, no NBA players on the roster. Group C, you see Thanos Antetokounmpo. However, Giannis is not playing. He got off-season knee surgery. He's not playing. U.S., the whole roster is in the NBA. For the U.S., a pretty easy Group C. Jordan and New Zealand both don't have any NBA players. And Greece only has one who's a backup, doesn't start. Should be an easy group to win. Even if they had Giannis, you would think that we have a better overall roster. Group D only has two players in there. Group E, Australia has a lot of players in the NBA. You probably don't realize how many Australians are in the NBA, but this team is stacked. Josh Giddy from the Thunder. You're, they're led by Dante Exum of Dallas Mavericks. And then where's the big one is Patty Mills, Atlanta Hawks. Always been a, a killer playing for Australia. Germany has some big players as well with Dennis Schroeder on the Raptors. He was just on the Lakers and was doing a great job last season. Daniel Thais with the Pacers and both of the Wagner brothers. Group F, the big one of course for Slovenia is Luka Donic. He was hurt a little bit in the preseason up to this point, so let's see how he does here. Surprisingly, Brazil only has one player, so you used to have much more, so you would hope that they get more back. Same with Spain. Canada, their whole team is basically in the NBA too, so force to be reckoned with there. Obviously, you got Shea Gilk Alexander, you have Kelly Olinick, Dwight Powell, uh, RJ Barrett, Dylan Brooks. For France, a couple players there led by Rudy Gobert, usually their perennial, perennial uh, World Cup type of leaders as well. So, overall, the schedule for the U.S., just to show you USA plays New Zealand tomorrow, Monday they play Greece, and then Wednesday they play Jordan. Let's go over some of game one, match day one highlights. 38,115 fans were there live in the stadium to watch the Philippines versus Dominican Republic. This is a record for most fans ever attending a game. Basketball is alive and well in the Philippines. They have to support their fans, support their country. The first game to make note of, you had Finland losing to Australia, 72-98. If you want to see some of the, the box scores, Finland... You had some players who had double digits, led by Laurie McCarran. 
Uh, he's on Utah Baller. You may recognize his name because he did some military service in the offseason because he had to. As we talked about earlier, Australia has a bunch of NBA players and they showed out, led with 25 points by Patty Mills. He always plays amazing on the world stage. And this was a good, good win for Australia to start. You look at the team comparison overall, you know, it was close about into halftime and then Australia just took off in the second half and really won this game. This was a very impressive performance for them to start. Next, we move to Dominican Republic and the Philippines. The big, big game here. Your big players you expect did a great job. Carlos needs to have 26 points leading the way. For the Philippines, Jordan Clarkson had 28 points, just balling out right there. This game was pretty close throughout, and Germany beat Japan by about 20 points. Again, not crazy uh, surprising here. You would think Germany would win. They were winning the whole way. Box score, when we look at some of the star players, Schroeder, 14 points. Wagner, uh, Moritz had 25 points, and France had 10. So the big players stepped up, and then of course they had uh, shooter right there with 14. Canada, France. This one was surprising. You would expect France to stay a little bit closer. This shows the skill of Canada. It was close at halftime and then Canada just pulled away. Great halftime adjustments. We look at the box score for Canada. Shea Gilk Alexander with 27 points. Olenek with 18. Brooks tripping with 12. We know the type of NBA season he had. So good for to see him back on the court playing what he loves. For France, Fournier with 21, which was your leading scorer. Decolo had 12. When we look at Rudy Gobert, only eight points, 27 minutes. You expect him to do much more and needs to do much more for France to be successful. This takes us to USA New Zealand, the preview. In the past head the heads, USA won 98-71, USA won 110 to 62. We should be able to win this game pretty easy. You may ask, who's going to be the starting five for the U.S. team? This has been the same starting five all preseason. They won all their preseason games. We have a bunch of previews for those and post views of those games, so go check it out on our channel. You have Jalen Brunson as your starting point guard. Your second, number two, your shooting guard. The go-to man who will have the ball at the end of the game is Anthony Edwards. Mikel Bridges is your three. Your four, small forward, is Brandon Ingram. And then five, your reigning defensive player of the year in the NBA, Jaron Jacks Jr., being able to load the paint and be a great defensive presence. Your reserves are on the bottom. Just to make note of two, Austin Reeves is probably your sixth man. He shot the ball lights out in preseason. He's really developing into a great player, and he's going to come out as a breakout star out of this World Cup and have a great NBA season. And Paulo Banchero, the one next to him. So Reeves is second from the left, third from the left. Great big man inside, helped out with some athleticism and really getting up and down the floor. The game is tomorrow. So again, Make wake up early. You can have this game on while you're watching some college football. You can watch some European football as well. It's a big sports day. Let me know your thoughts. Of course, subscribe here to Hoops Roundup on Randy Silver TV with your boy Randy Silver. We're gonna break down every FIBA World Cup. Of course, do an itemized game for the US when it comes through. And we'll be here for you. We'll see you tomorrow. Go USA.